Bringing back bad memories, pictures of the massive traffic jams in Atlanta and people sleeping in stores are familiar scenes to New Englanders who lived through the blizzard of 78. Now there is a big difference in the snowfall amounts, but many similarities on how it affected residents. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with a closer look. Few examples out here of how snowfall can pretty much shut down a city. The December debacle of 2007 certainly comes to mind, but for Pinpoint Weather Team meteorologist TJ Del Santo, he says it's the blizzard of 78. It seems almost unbelievable. A few inches of snow shut down Atlanta, turning highways into parking lots and demolition derbies. Although the snowfall isn't impressive, Pinpoint Weather Team meteorologist TJ Del Santo says the images of the aftermath rang a bell. When I saw a picture of people stranded in a, in a CVS in Atlanta sleeping overnight, boom, right off it reminded me of the blizzard of 1978. The blizzard of 78 covered New England in several feet of snow, and like Atlanta, Atlanta, people here in 78 spent the night stuck inside schools and businesses. The only difference is how little snowfall caused Georgia to declare a state of emergency. They don't have the army of snow removal trucks like we do around here. Uh, and plus, they, the drivers aren't familiar with on how to drive in the snow. And Proof of that, Rhode Island also had a few inches fall Wednesday morning. The roads weren't that bad, though, which is a far cry from the south. An inch of snow around here, not a big deal. An inch of snow in Atlanta for people who've never, probably never seen snow in their life, yeah, that's a big deal. Now, TJ has a lot more information comparing these two storms on the Pinpoint Weather Blog. You can check that out right now at WPRI.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.